Hey everyone, it's Be Divine again here and welcome to Frequently Asked Questions about Love and Relationships. I know I haven't done one of these for a while and I've seen some of the comments and things and also some of the questions that have been coming into me. So I thought that I would now make um, a couple more of these types of uh, videos. And if you would like you know, to learn something or if you want to even learn about your spirit guides or the angels or something like that, then you know, create, make a comment below or something and I will create a segment about frequently asked questions about spirit guides and angels and things like that and we will just go with the flow with it. So this particular one, I'm not going to mention any names, okay, I don't want to mention names and point people out um, because this particular issue is something that came up not only in my own life once upon a time but it's actually come up in quite a few people's lives um, when I've been doing readings. So I just wanted to explain a little bit about this one and it is, you know, are you someone who becomes an obsessive type of lover? So it's not a bad thing, don't get me wrong, but I just want to explain what I mean by that. So you might meet somebody and instantly you have an attraction to them and you um, are really, really physical with it, you know, you're really, really into the whole thing and they appear to be into it as well and you just got this loving, you know, relationship happening. And sometimes what happens is one of the person, whether it's the male or the female, it doesn't really matter which one it is, they start to pull back and you're still going forward because you're thinking, oh, well, you know, we were fine last week or whatever and now suddenly there's this problem, what's going on? And you start to um, keep trying to keep up that, you know, um, emotion and, you know, the love and all of those things that you were doing before. And this person gets worse and worse and worse. And, and they get to a point where they start telling you, look, just get away from me, you know, leave me alone. I don't want, this is too much. So what happens in that sort of situation is that the person that has been um, sort of the more emotional type hasn't really done anything wrong because you know the other person was actually reciprocating this as well in the beginning so they thought that they knew what they wanted and this is the key when a person gets very very close to another person and they see that this could be a relationship that is a lifelong relationship what generally happens is one part of the uh, you know relationship, the one that's backing away, is doing that because they are afraid that number one something might go wrong, number two they are not sure if they want all of this kind of attention and emotion even though they may have wanted that in the beginning, and number three because it is so great they fear that it's going to fail. You see a lot of people have this fear of failure going on in relationships and the other person that was moving forward moving forward moving forward and wanting and wanting and wanting it hadn't also really thought about the long-term effects of this you know because a person can only um, keep up being very very emotional and very very loving and very very close for for a certain amount of time and, and you might know that you know you get into a relationship and then in the in a year's time you really have gotten to know the person and things do change after you know each year something changes within your relationship so the person that is moving forward is also afraid you see they are afraid that if they don't behave in that particular way that that person won't want them so when they're behaving in a loving direction and this other person is still moving away it causes confusion it causes obsession with that person and you start to get a big breakdown going on in your relationship completely. So what needs to happen is before you even begin any type of relationship, you really need to ask yourself what you're going into the relationship for. If you are a very emotional person, you know, you do like to show affection, you do like to show love, there will be others that are also in that same boat, you know, that they, they feel that same way, they like to express themselves and all that sort of thing and what will happen is that once you've actually sat down and worked out what you're doing in your life and what you really want for the big scheme of things you know what you want for the long term how, what kind of a lover you are 
what kind of person that you are, what you like and what you don't like in a relationship. You really have to sift through all of these things in order to attract the person that has also gone through, worked out what they are really, really looking for and are ready to commit to this type of thing. Again, you still may have people who um, like flight, you know, fall away and go because it's all too much for them. And they haven't worked on all of their own issues in their lives. It's not your fault. It's not anybody's fault at all other than, I guess, bad timing for one. And two, for the fact that you really were going to end up having a problem anyway. Because as I said, not, one, not both of you haven't done the, the work that's involved in getting together and being together for, for the long term. Because let's face it, I don't think that there's anybody out there that actually finds themselves in a committed relationship and uh, thinks to themselves, well, you know, this, this is only going to be for a month or so. You wouldn't go through all the effort um, to even like, become a steady partner of that person if you're just going to leave them anyway. Some people uh, come into relationships and they think, well, this is okay for now. And then suddenly they actually fall in love with the person and the other person's thinking to themselves, well, we agreed that this would just be a short term thing. And now this person is, you know, in love. So there's all kinds of things that go on, all kinds of dynamics that go on in a relationship. But the main thing that, you know, needs to be clear in your mind is what do you really, really want? And what are you going to do? Are you going to just find, you know, look for what you are, so in other words, if you are really, really wanting this loving, loving, loving relationship, are you going to search for it in everybody? Like, are you going to go, well, it didn't work there, so I'm going to do the same thing over here and, and see if it works over there. Is that what you're going to do? Or are you going to wait, hold off, really focus on yourself and uh, decide that you are worth, you know, worth, worthy of love and you are worth having a lifelong relationship with somebody else and you know that is out there for you you know you have to think of these things and once you have done that and once you have really committed to that and committed to first yourself who you are um, where you want to be in the future and all of those things then you will find the person that has also done the work uh, realize what they want there may still be initial nervousness, you know, when you get together, that's okay. But you can't have this going into a relationship and thinking, oh, you know, it's going to fail. It will fail, of course. You can't go into the relationship thinking that if I love this person, you know, so, so much, then they'll return that love because that you're going into it for the wrong reasons. So with, you know, an obsess are you an obsessive lover? Are you someone who latches onto somebody else and thinks that you will make them love you because you're showering them with affection all the time? To some people, it frightens them off, scares them away, and they think there's something wrong. In your point of view, you're thinking to yourself, you know, but that's how I want to be treated. So if I treat someone how I want to be treated, everything will be fine. But no, it doesn't work that way. Relationships have to develop over time, obviously. Both people need to come into it with the same goal in mind. They can't be thinking, this person's going to leave, there's something wrong with this person, I'm only going to do this for a little while, or else it will never work, of course. So really, really focus on yourself in a relationship. If you are in a relationship where you're really not sure, you're really not, um, you know, you're really uneasy, you know, and you just don't know what to do. It is not only a thing of trusting your instincts and, and you know moving away from it. It's actually doing both of you a favor by by moving away and focusing on yourself. It could be that later in time you come back together when you've both worked everything out. You know, you come back together and and try again for the future. Uh, but don't stay in a relationship where you are frightened of the other person's behavior. And uh, also, if you are somebody who is really obsessively um, loving, don't stay with somebody who is also not the same as you are, because you know it's just going to end up being longer down the track, 
and more hurt as you go along. Try to listen to these things and uh, you know understand that you are worthy of the greatest love, but you must believe it within yourself and not you know you have to learn to trust in a relationship. You have to learn to give and take. You have to learn to know when to back away and you know to give people their space and all that sort of thing. And you know becoming obsessed with someone is almost like you are saying to them, you know, I'm good for you. What are you doing? And the other person might be saying, but I'm, I'm scared of this. You know, I don't want this. I, I'm not ready for this. So you have to give people time. And uh, you have to also give yourself time, especially if you've gone from one relationship and you go into a new one. There needs to be time in between. You, that, you, you can never do that because you will just regret it. You will just feel like, um, you know, now you've gone perhaps out of the frying pan and into the fire, you know, so to speak. So take your time, give time for yourself, realize the behaviors that you are doing, focus on the good points of who you are, and know that those good points are what is going to attract the right person for you. Maybe not right away, but in time it will happen. Uh, try, you know, if you're feeling like you really can't let somebody go, you really need to look at yourself and, uh, and say, look, you know, I'm behaving, you know, perhaps in the wrong manner for that type of person. You know, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with me. It just means that I need to focus more on what I, I really, really want in order to attract someone who's also in my same boat, you know, in the same wavelength that I'm at. So I hope that that helped somebody out there or made sense. And, uh, you know, you can ask more questions about love and relationships. Um, but just remember that there is a lot of times that you may not understand everything that's going on if you are still attached to the situation and the idea is that you pull yourself back from it and even look down on it and see how you are behaving from another person's point of view or as I often do um, you know what advice would you give somebody else in that situation that you're going through and that will be a realization to you of, of what you can do to then change things in your life. So good luck everybody and um, I hope that made sense as I said and uh, I will see you in the next video and goodbye for me.